Hi, my name is Kaden Jackson. Um, I did my project over spina bifida. Um, so spina bifida is the malformation of the vertebrae in the spine and it's caused by a small cyst um, that you're born with um, right on the spine causing many um, defects. Um, it can also be caused by a gene in the family that's hereditary, whether that's your mother, father, grandparent, um, whoever's had it, or it's just like a mutation. Um, the gender that normally gets it is female. Race is a really big factor in this as well. Normally whites and Hispanics get it. Um, if the mother was on like a certain type of prescription, like anti-seizure medication, um, that can cause it as well. Um, it doesn't go away. It lasts a lifetime. Um, when the baby is in the womb, the mother can decide whether or not they want to have a procedure done. Um, and that procedure consists of removing the cyst on the spine. It only, it doesn't help with like the paralysis that comes with it, um, but it does help with like the mental um, effects of it. Um, the operation alone does not cure it either. It is just a precaution to help with the effects. Spina bifida causes paralysis in the legs because of the cyst on the spine. Many doctors recommend, like they recommend the mother do it for the child. Um, there is medication that goes along with it. It doesn't help much, but it does help the pain that they will endure during like their lifetime. Um, all parents, it says really all parents like can do is um, provide like emotional support and everything like that. Um, as a result in this condition, it causes paralysis of legs. Sometimes the entire body as a fluid presses down on the vertebrae. Um, there is a very small possibility that the person with spina bifida could walk again. It will just take a lot of physical therapy, a lot of encouragement, um, and there's a less likely chance that they would never be able to walk again. Um, you can detect this as early as 18 weeks um, when you go in for your two week ultrasounds um, by 18 weeks they can normally like tell if the baby will have it or not and that's when the mom can decide if they want to have the procedure done um, I personally know someone that has it um, and it's just it's just part of who she is um, she lives a normal like happy life other than this um, you the patient does have to have a lot of care um, they can't go to the bathroom by themselves. So they have to have tubes. Um, normally, they don't normally need feeding tubes, but if it's like such a severe case, um, it is a possibility. Um, they have to have catheters, um, lots of medication to take to make sure like the lower half of your body like will function. Um, so I know that is a very big, it's, I wouldn't say problem, um, but it is very difficult. It's a very difficult disease to treat. Um, let's see. There are fewer than 20,000 cases per year, so it's very rare. Um, this, there is no cure, just a small procedure to reduce the severity of the disease. Many people with spina bifida still live a happy and healthy lifestyle in the end. Um, like I said, I personally know someone who has it, and it doesn't really affect like who she is. Um, it just affects her ability to walk and um, like go to the bathroom and stuff. Um, a lot of it can have to do with the mother itself as well. Like I said earlier, um, I did say something about prescription, but it also can be determined by like if the mother was on drugs, like that obviously um, can be a factor in many things wrong with children when they're born. Um, so if your mother was on drugs or like not taking care of the baby inside of them, they can, um, be caused, this can be caused by it. Um, let's see.
the mother can decide like if she like if she wants it or if she doesn't want it um if she doesn't want it then it can cause um even more like your whole body can be paralyzed um the neurological effects of it sometimes the brain the brain does develop differently if there's spina bifida just because the cyst like the fluid in the cyst can go into the brain and it can cause like slow learning or delayed speech or no speech at all um so that's just it's the mother's decision but like doctors like suggest like highly highly recommend that um they do do the procedure before the baby is born um So that's pretty much it over spina bifida. It's not, there's no cure for it. You can just, um, you can lower the effects of like the neurological damage if you do have the cyst removed. Um, and the doctors say all you really can do is provide them emotional support and be there for them and help take care of them because in the end, like they really can't take care of themselves. Um, but they can they can feed themselves and dress themselves they just have a hard time like with the catheter and like helping change themselves and stuff like that um but, but yeah like i said they can still live a happy and healthy life um everything like that and in my in my poster presentation um i have all my sources cited so if you need to look at any of those um that's fine um but yeah so that's really all i have for you for this um so if you have any questions feel free to email me ask and i'm happy to answer them um but yeah that's about it thank you